This is a short video on logging into Microsoft Teams. The easiest way of doing it for the first time is to log into a web browser. So I've got Firefox open here and I'll just type in teams.microsoft.com. It will ask me to log in, so I'll pop in your Office 365 email address. And click next. Then your password. It will now ask you if you want to reduce the number of times you ask to sign in. This is if you're using a secure computer, which only you log on to, uh, no one else has your password to log onto your computer, you can consider clicking yes. And it means that next time you log into Teams, it will just go in without asking for a password. However, if you feel that someone else might be using your computer or you're not sure about the security, tick no. If you obviously don't want to be asked this question again, you can tick the box. For now, we'll just click no. And the Teams interface will load. The great thing about Microsoft Teams, it doesn't matter if you're looking at it using a web browser, using the desktop app or one of the mobile apps which you can get on Android or iOS. It all pretty much looks the same. So the first time we log in, we'll get this little screen just telling us about some of the features. You can click next if you want to, or you can just click on the cross. It will take us to this page, which is our Teams. It will give us the option straight away of downloading the desktop app. Uh, we may get a chat pop up very, very shortly from something called T-Bot, which is an AI bot, but we will look at chatting in another video. Uh, you can see that you get your teams and a list of channels underneath those teams. Uh, in your activity window, it will be activity that's specific to you. So if anyone sent you any messages, or as you can see here, um, Christian Letzinger has added me to the Woodside Primary Senior Leadership Team, so it's popped up there. As you can see, T-Bot has popped up, sent me a few chats which is very good timing for the video. Uh, you can see that we now have a little one by the chat to say that we have uh, an unread message in there. If we click on the chat, you'll see it's in bold and we can click on it and there's the chat window and I can type my reply in there. But as I say, we'll be looking at doing chats in another video. So our activity window. You can see activity that's related to you. If people add you to Teams, if people make uh, references to you, if they comment on conversations that you're in. Within Teams, you have any teams that you're a member of. So you can see I'm a member here of Woodside Primary SLT. And underneath the teams are channels. So teams are broken down into channels. Again, we'll look at that in another video shortly. Chat is any chats that we have. As you can see, we've just got the T-Bot one. Meetings, you can schedule meetings. Again, there'll be another video on this soon. This is for files uh, that you've been working on. And if you're a student, you can uh, have assignments. So if you have a class team, you as a teacher can set assignments for the students and they will appear there. What you also have is this little icon here, which is your personal details. So you can change your picture there if you want. You can set with your available busy do not disturb or away. Uh, you can have some settings. Quite simple, so you can have a default theme, a dark theme, high contrast, decide what your language is and notifications. So you'll see when the, those T-Bot ones came up for instance, those are the notifications and you can change what you get notifications for. As you can see, because we've logged in with Teams on a web browser, it's saying that we can download the desktop app. We can just click on download. It will download an application. You can run that and it will install the desktop app on your machine. You won't have to use the web browser or we can just click the cross to get rid of that. So that is how we log into Microsoft Teams and a very brief overview of what's there.